Are you serious? They found a light on an alien planet. They see a light. I see a light. What? I see a light. Hold on a minute. I've got the article right here. Yahoo News is reporting it. Breaking news out of NASA. But can I break some news to NASA? May I, may I explain something to NASA? That's right. I'm not a rocket scientist. And, well, we all knew that. But we do, as a theologian, we've studied the Bible. And guess what? Start at the beginning. Here's what it says. Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void. And the darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. Let's go quickly to Yahoo News right now. Hang on to that thought. Hold it. The headline says, Light from alien super earth is seen for the first time. Light from an alien super earth twice the size of our own earth has been detected by NASA space telescope for the first time in what astronomers are calling a historic achievement. NASA's infrared Spitzer space telescope spotted light from the alien planet 55 Cancri, which orbits a star 41 light years from Earth. Folks, that's a long way. What? Are you serious? 41 light years from Earth. They spotted it. A day on the extrasolar planets last just 18 hours. So on that planet, the daylight on that planet is only 18 hours based on how it orbits its sun. Okay, now, the planet 55 Cancri was first discovered in 2004 and is not a habitable world. Instead, it's known as a super-Earth because of its size. The world is about twice the width of Earth and is super-dense with about eight times the mass of Earth. What? That thing's huge. But, until now... Scientists have never managed to detect the infrared light from the super-Earth world. Spitzer has amazed us because, yet again, said Spitzer program scientist Bill Donch of the NASA headquarters in Washington, in a statement today, which was May the 8th, yesterday, May the 8th, 2012, the spacecraft is pioneering the study of atmospheres of distant planets and paving the way for NASA's upcoming James Webb Space Telescope to apply a similar technique on potentially habitable planets. Do you think there's really planets out there that's habitable? What? It's possible. God can create all things. It's very possible. If you believe in God. Now wait. Spitzer first detected infrared light from the alien planet 2005, but the world was hot Jupiter. As gas giant planet much larger than 55 Cancri that orbited extremely close to its parent star. While other telescopes have performed similar feats since then, Spitzer's view of 55 Cancri is the first time the light from a rocky super Earth type planet has been seen, researchers say. So think about this. Hang on a second. Got some coffee? Got coffee? Got Jesus? Got light. Got light? <laughs> what? Uh, and now, all, all kidding aside, this is a pretty significant breakthrough for NASA. And because they've finally been able to look deep, 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 deep into the darkness of space... And looking back at them is the light of God. It's something that's spectacular to even imagine and to even comprehend. That God didn't just create our earth, which without form 
or void. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of our waters, and God said, let there be light, and there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. Now, nowhere in the Scripture does God ever say darkness is good. But he does say light is good. And NASA now is saying light is good because NASA now sees the light. They see a light that's 41 light years from Earth. Deep, deep, deep down the darkness of the depths of, of, of space. There is a super Earth, what they want to call an alien planet, but it is a 55 Cancri has light. God while hanging galaxies, solar systems, constellations, and Milky Ways, universes beyond our comprehension, still making light. Do you think he ever stopped making light? I mean, I still believe God's creating. Because when God says, let there be light, 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 it's still going. He, where God's word will go out and it will not return void. You can build the best telescopes in history. You can look far. You can look 141 light years into the future and you will find another planet around another sun in another solar system and it will have light. I mean, this is God. So think about the power of the blood of Jesus. When he gave for God so love, 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 love the world that he gave, 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 gave his only begotten son, 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 son. Think about it. So when you're sitting there in your deepest, darkest moments of despair and the world and the devil and the devil and the demons from hell are trying to convince you to commit suicide or to end your life or to give up hope. I want you to stop in the midst of the scope of nowhere to go and believe in the hope. Not hope in man. Not hope in change. Not hope in some other uh, uh, phenomenon. But hope in Christ. Matter of fact, Romans, this, I just looked down and saw it. This is one of my magnets that I send out free to people. And know that all things work together for good to them that are called according to his purpose. All we know, and we know, that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. Light! Let there be light! There is light. And at the end of the day, there's still hope for you and there's still light for you. And the word of the Lord, matter of fact, is a lamp unto your feet and it's a light unto your path. And the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. The destiny of your future is in God. Don't turn him away. For the grace of God, which bringeth salvation, hath appeared unto all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live righteously, soberly, godly in this present world. I'm telling you, for whosoever would call upon the name of the Lord, they shall be saved. Repent of your sins. I've had to. We've all had to. We've all sinned and come short of the glory of God. There's none of us righteous. No. No, not one. But through his grace, through faith. We can be saved. For by grace are you saved through faith. It's not ourselves. It's a gift of God, not of works. At least any man should boast. Would you call upon the name of the Lord? Pastor, I want to be saved. I've been watching you for a while, and it's time for me to get in. I want you to call upon the name of Jesus. Repent of your sins. Ask him for mercy. Ask him for the blood of Christ to be washed over your soul. I'll pray with you if you would like. And, and we had two saved yesterday. If you want to, just send me a personal message right here on this YouTube channel. The private. Go to my channel page. Hit the private message. Title it. I want to be saved. I want to be saved. I want to be saved. I'll help you. We'll get right with God. Today's the day of salvation. God bless. I'll be right back. i got more news to talk about. In Jesus' name.